Hi, um, I just thought today I would do a quick little finishes video, show you some of the things I've done over quite a large span of time. Um, I started stitching on when I was probably about 12 and my grandmother gave me this kit and it actually had two had two different cat cats in this kit and then I did make the other one, I don't know whatever happened to it. And um, I would have been about 12 and it's not bad for a first timer. I noticed the thread here is really dirty. And uh, there's some stitches going the other way and this and that. But not bad. Kind of probably a pretty boring one to stitch when you're first starting. Not many colours. Except for that nice turquoise eye there. But um, yeah, it's cute. Nice little, little one to start with. And then I did a lot of um, just small projects bookmarks and just bits and pieces on cloth and stuff of um, patterns from magazines and books and this is one of them and I'd just use whatever whatever floss I could find that mum had in her stash uh, so I would have just looked at the pattern and found whatever I had closest and uh, quite like that one I like the symmetry of that it's got some nice colours in it too. And not bad stitching for a, I don't know, a 12, 13, 14 year old. This is another one from about the same era. Just an Aztec sampler. Good colours. Pretty good stitching. Never did anything with it. Don't think I'd ever hang it up, but there you go. It's, um... I remember doing this wave pattern around the edge it was kind of fun but yeah nice colors and once again i just used whatever i had oh i'll show you the back of something oh there's some cross-country back stitching <laughs> not bad otherwise there's knots oh yeah knots everywhere interesting to see how you change really your stitching methods isn't it still not bad not bad doesn't matter anyway uh, here's another early uh, ish one. This one, 1995. So I would have been 15 at the time I finished this. This took forever. I remember doing it in the Christmas holidays. Would have started it in 94 at least, if not earlier. And uh, yeah, pretty fun. A good, good thing to do when you're learning how to stitch. Lots of different things. I notice here on this back stitch, I've actually left a whole row of stitches for the back stitch to sit in. Things you do differently and things you learn. And uh, very long back stitching too, which I don't like now. I, I would uh, do each square separate now, much tidier. Like around the tree here, that looks good. And this check, I remember doing that, that took forever. And, uh, yeah, all bits and pieces. And uh, I remember changing the flag from the American flag that was on the pattern to the Aussie flag. But I need some advice on this one. As you can see, it doesn't really fit the frame. That's the uh, wrong size for the frame. And it's absolutely filthy. I used hoops at this time, and you can see there's just, I don't know if you can see it quite as good as I can see it here, but it is grubby. So I'd like to cut it out and wash it, but I'm not sure how the colour fastness is going to go because, I mean, I, 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 a lot of this won't be DMC or anchor or anything, so I, I don't know what the quality of the thread is like and, and whether it's going to run. So um, if anyone has any suggestions on how I could best best clean this one up for reframing, um, pop something in the comments for me. It would be very much appreciated. And uh, another early one here, a little cushion, another one from a catalogue, another one where I've just, another, a magazine or a book or something, another one where I've just sort of done the best of the threads I could find in mum's stash. And originally it was just this size. It's on 18 count, this. And uh, it was going to be too small for anything, so I added all the ones around the edge and we made a cushion out of it. And... Uh, yeah, it's held up pretty well. Not 
bad. Not bad stitching for a kid. Pretty good stitching. I mean, it's small at 18 count too. Some of the colours change, different, slightly different purples and things, but it looks good. I like it. It goes on our sofa now anyway. And here's another cushion. This is the probably the first big kit I ever did. And uh, yeah, I still like it. Even though it's nothing like anything I would stitch now, I wouldn't do anything that fits into this kind of genre. But um, as a 14-year-old girl or whatever I was, or 15... Probably going on 16 or something like with that. And, um, yeah, I really like the sun down here. I think that's a really cool sun. And I remember we had to dye this fabric ourselves because it must have been a pattern. It mustn't have been a kit because we had to dye this fabric because it was meant to be navy and it's really washed out over time. But it still looks fine. I mean, it's very different to the, the navy on the back. And they would have been much closer in colour originally. Um, but I remember I brought all the proper. I think I used anchor on this one, but oh gosh, that would be stretching my memory. But I like him, and it's good stitching. Good stitching for a kid. Looks uh, pretty much in the same direction, but yeah. So that's my my unicorn. It's pretty cool. Mum made into a cushion. And this is my first big project that I was really proud of and this definitely was a kit you can see the quality of the um, the fabric it was good it really stayed nice and navy so lots of metallics in my Tutankhamun I was um, oh, 16, 17 around that age and I was totally into ancient Egypt and uh, this one did come from Fox Collections mail order with all the metallics and uh, I think I did a pretty good job on this one too came out well in the frame as well so you can see nice and shiny hope that's coming through on the camera on the video but yeah this one hangs in our guest room now this was in my bedroom growing up and um, hung in my parents guest room and now it's here in my guest room and I like it it's nice so that's some of my older finishes and then I've just got two recents I only just started stitching seriously again since well since falling pregnant really because we have to make things for our babies so this is going to be his Christmas stocking and I really enjoyed stitching this. So many colours. And um, stitched with love. Knowing that it was going to be for my, my little boy, it, it really did bring me quite a bit of pleasure to stitch this. And hopefully he'll use it forever. Well, definitely while he believes in Santa Claus anyway. Some good detail in it. And um, yeah, it was a nice project. And it says down there, Love from Mummy, 2014. So yeah, I'm going to make that into a stocking, obviously. And um, I'm going to put white fluff up the top here and have a red backing. And I've got, bought a red and gold kind of cord that I'm going to stitch into the edges of that. And yeah... He should look good. So he's all washed and ironed and ready to go, just waiting for me to, to get around to it. And I think, oh, I really like the detail of his eyes. I think the back stitching really, really brought out Santa. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably just give you a quick show of that once I've actually got it done. And then one very, very small finish. And uh, I showed you Peter Rabbit. That I'm working on at the moment in my whips video and this is Jemima Puddle Duck which is also for my mother-in-law when I'll whip it into a bookmark shortly and that'll be part of her Christmas gift so so yeah that's a little uh, view of my current well some of my past finishes and um, there'll be more to come okay have a good day bye